In this video, we are going to cover how to set up the capture editor and capture a range of motion for our actor. First, we need to be sure we are in the correct database. You can open the data management by hitting F2 or going to the main button. Next, open the capture editor. The capture editor is where you're going to start and stop your captures, as well as add names and descriptions to each of your takes. Before we do any capturing, we want to make sure we are in the correct session. You will notice that the current session I am in is afternoon. This doesn't match where I want to save all my takes, which is in the morning session. To change this, go and double click on the session you want to capture. This will automatically update the capture editor to save your takes in this session. We are now in the correct session and are ready to start naming our captures. You will notice that I named the capture Owen underscore ROM. Owen underscore ROM is going to be saved out automatically after we stop the capture. Before we do any captures that are planned for the shoot, we need to set up each actor that is going to be captured today. In this tutorial, we only will be setting up one actor, but you can do the exact same steps in this video and the following videos to set up another actor. We are going to capture a range of motion now. First, have your actor walk out into the center of the volume. If you don't see any markers in the perspective window, then you need to tell Blade to reconstruct the markers in real time. Once you see the markers, we can check to see how many are being constructed. To do this, right click in the perspective window and choose Show Trajectory Count. Now we can see how many markers are being constructed. We have 53 markers on the body, plus the 4 from the rigid object, so 57 is exactly the number we are looking for. Have the actor T pose before you capture and then click start. You can see my colleague walking the actor through the range of motion. The main idea for this take is to get the full range of motion for all of the actor's joints. We start with the head and work our way down the body. One important note to make is to have the actor T pose after you go through your motions. Then you can click stop. You will notice that in our data management editor there is a new file with the name Owen underscore ROM. As I stated before, after you hit stop, the system will automatically save out the recorded camera data. This is called an X2D. Now we are ready to process this data, which is covered in another video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please email support at bicon.com.